Wake up, Bronco country. Come on now, make some noise. How you feeling? Y'all feeling all right? Are we ready for a celebration of Mr. B? I am so glad we're at this moment to celebrate the life and success, the success of Pat Bolin. Let's make some noise for Pat Bolin right now. I want to acknowledge, where is the flag? <laughs> it's at the very top? Y'all acknowledge the flag up there? All right, I'm looking for it. We are so proud to be here with the Denver Bronco organization and the family of Pat Bolin to honor a man who not only brought championship winning ways to Denver, Colorado and the entire Rocky Mountain region, um, but showed all of us here in Denver as well what it means to be a good corporate citizen and to really espouse and expand um, the, the concept and values of winning and excellence beyond the walls of the Denver Bronco headquarters. Today, uh, as mayor of this great city, I wanted us all to pause long enough to say to the Pat Bowling family and to the Bronco organization, uh, this great man, when he bought the team in 1984, um, I was just 13 years old, uh, but we began to see the changing, the transformation of this city and this region. We went from a cow town to a Super Bowl winning town. <laughs> Today we are joined by alumni of the famed Denver Bronco organization, and I want to celebrate them today. Y'all make some noise for Steve Atwater, <laughs> Billy Thompson, Mark Cooper, Daniel Graham, Glenn Bailey, Big Boy Greg Boyd, Wade Manning. Y'all remember number 56, Larry Evans. Max Leitzow, Laron Jackson, David Treadwell, and I thought I saw Steve Watson back there. Steve Watson, and look at this. Who's number 80? Who? Make a noise. Make some noise with Super Bowl champion Rod Smith. Good to see you, Rod. We're also joined by the family members of Pat Bolin. We want to thank them for being here. Let's make some noise for Annabelle, Patrick, Christiana, and Beth. Today we're going to bestow two very special, uh, actually three special honors on the family, the organization, in memory of the great Pat Bolin. First, I want to read a proclamation that we have prepared. First of all, y'all got to make this is a celebration, y'all. Come on now. Come on, come on. Don't listen. Oh, y'all, I didn't, I didn't acknowledge the true Bronco. That is Miles, man, my, my son. The future mayor of Denver right here. Miles, thank you for being here. And, of course, our cheerleaders are up top, Denver Bronco cheerleaders. Thank y'all for being here. Today, we're going to have, present this proclamation to the family and organization. Whereas Pat Bolin purchased our beloved hometown team, the Denver Broncos, in 1984, thus beginning a 35-year period of exceptional ownership and leadership of one of the professional sports' most storied franchises. And when I say whereas, you all say Broncos. Whereas, Broncos. Pat Bolin, respectfully known as Mr. Bolin or Mr. B among teammates, the organization and the community at large was this year inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. <laughs> Placing him rightfully among those individuals who are counted as being among the greatest to contribute in the game. And whereas, Bronco. Pat Bowling instilled in his team in our city a championship spirit that resulted in seven AFC championships, three Super Bowl titles, an Arena Bowl victory, and three Steinfeld Cups among coming home to Denver. And whereas, 
Pat Bowling, over his Hall of Fame career, helped create one of the winningest teams in professional football, as well as shape the direction of the National Football League through his many contribution, contributions as team owner. And whereas, in more than just sports, Pat Bowling's philanthropic contributions to the city and county of Denver have opened doors for discounted youth, disconnected youth uh, to have a bright and fulfilling future. And whereas... The indelible mark Pat Bowling has left on the sports of football and our great city and state uh, will endure. And we thank him, the team, and the entire Broncos family for the lasting impact they have made on fans across the world. Now, therefore, I, Michael B. Hancock, former mascot of the Denver Broncos, <laughs> and now Miles Mayor of the city and county of Denver, get ready, it's your future, man. Maybe governor for miles. Governor, governor. <laughs> By the virtue of authority vested in me, do hereby officially proclaim this day, October 9, 2019, to be known on, known as his fourth and forevermore as Pat Bowling Day in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> Let me ask the family members, just join me up here as you, if you wouldn't accept this proclamation on behalf of the people of Denver. And the reason why I wanted you to come is because today it is truly my honor to present to you the highest honor that as mayor I present to anyone. I want you to know the history of this coin. Back in World War II, uh, military uh, men and women in the field would present challenge coins to their allies just to denote the fact that you are an ally, you're a friend. And so the challenge coins became um, historically known uh, for uh, honoring people with the highest honor that you can give a human being, um, particularly on the battlefield. Uh, the Broncos and Mr. B went to battle on behalf of all of us in Denver and, uh, and the region. Only 100 of these coins have been present, uh, printed. And since uh, I started handing them out, um, um, we haven't handed them all out. Presidents of the United States, President Clinton, Carter, and Obama, have been presented this coin, as well as military men and women. Um, Marcus Luttrell, the lone survivor in Afghanistan, I was honored to present this to him, as well as many people. We only present them to people who have made an incomparable contribution to our city. Pat Bolin <laughs> made an incomparable contribution to our great city. John Elway has one of the coins. Today, because Pat Boland served our city and, and, and was alive to own the team for 35 years, we're going to present coin number 35 to Pat Boland and the family and the Denver Bronco organization. It's a true honor to present that to the family, to the Denver Bronco organization, and I know that the people of Denver will agree with me. There's no uh, greater person that we can bestow this honor on, and we are so grateful to Pat Bolin. The last act of uh, bestowing an honor on the name of Pat Bolin, in the memory of Pat Bolin, is our great men and women of public service, public works department over there, have prepared to name this block Pat Bolin Way. <laughs> 